Hello everyone, my name is Adam Maria Vox. Welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove your background from the C922 webcam and explore some of the cool effects and the like that you can do with it within XSplit. Now, the Personify software claims that you can use this camera with OBS, XSplit, Skype, and Hangouts, and the webcam box itself also lists OBS as an option. However, I'm not seeing this webcam listing within OBS to actually function properly, so I don't entirely know what's going on here. When you first plug in the Logitech C922 into your computer, if you already have Logitech webcams, software, or stuff enabled, it will do a little pop-up that shows you that, hey, there's extra software you need to install specifically for this webcam, would you like to download and install it? And it will have you automatically download and install that software and you'll be good to go. Otherwise, you need to hit up their support website, find the C922 Pro Stream webcam, download the driver and the chroma cam by Personify or C922 software and install that. Once you've done that, if you don't have a recording program open, if you open up the Personify software, you may notice that it doesn't let you do anything. It's just kind of like, hey, it works with some stuff, but that's it. So in OBS, if you just add the C922 Pro Stream webcam, you can't actually do anything. What you need to do is instead of adding that, you go to add webcam and you need to add Personify Chroma Cam for C922. And this is what's not showing up in OBS at the moment. And once you load that up, let it access the webcam. It does take a minute or two. It may automatically start removing the background, as you can see here. And now, if you open up the Personify software by just going to start and searching for Personify Chroma Cam, you see you have the option to show the background, leave it there, hide the background, and just put, you know, your game or whatever is behind you on the lower layer. You can add a green screen, so you can specifically green screen yourself out. That one has the Logitech logo on it. They also have a blue screen and a gray screen. Just some frames. They have goofy little shapes and things like that. Or you can add your own images and add just about anything or whatever you want to do. Because why not? But then there's also effect filters. You have blur, which blurs out the background here. And then you have black and white, which makes the black background black and white, which of course you could just customize by adding the image yourself. But this is useful for doing it in Skype. Like if you want to have a Google Hangouts call or a Skype call, you don't have the option to add layers to your webcam or anything like that. So if I do pull up Skype here, in the video settings within Skype, we can choose Personify Chroma Cam for C922. And then you can see here it has the background applied, whereas we don't actually get the option to doing so. If you go to webcam settings, it may not pop anything up at all, or it'll probably just pop up the controller window. It's not popping up anything for me at the moment though. So here, now when we have a Skype call, all of these settings are applied in the actual Skype video as well, which is pretty cool. Otherwise, you can add the specific images and effects you like within XSplit or OBS. So this has been my tutorial on setting up the Personify Chroma Cam for your Logitech C922 webcam. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, get subscribed for more awesome tech videos, and otherwise, I will catch you in the next one. Let me know if you have any questions about this webcam, what you'd like to see me do with it, and I will try to get some videos up down there. I also want to take a moment to give a huge thanks and shout out to our recent Patreon subscribers. Without you guys, these videos would not be possible, and I thoroughly appreciate your help. Visit patreon.com slash to learn more.